mining and taking the property for themselves. And that's what they shouldn't do. Because the native people who are living there, they should, they should have uh, what is the property of theirs. Uh, well, actually, before I came from uh, Ethiopia, I was reading about this in the press, and they were pretty hot about it. They were against the white people. They, the same thing could happen to them, of course. Um, on this uh, oppression business, if you say the Bantu in South Africa oppressed, how do you account for this fact? That every year, regularly, hundreds of thousands of Bantu and Negroes from other ter territories adjoining South Africa, such as Portuguese, East Africa, etc., are invading our country illegally in spite ah, of the law. Are they coming for oppression? They know what goes on in South Africa, and they come back year and year again. Those who have worked in South Africa and have been sent back, come back. Are they coming back to seek oppression? Your query, this does not answer what I am driving at. The Africans have the land. They oh, are no, there they before you. They do not have the land, and they, they mine the gold. All right, wait, wait a minute, Susan. Let me get my point straight before you go. They mine the lines, they get the diamonds, you sell the diamonds outside. And when you get the diamonds, you say they, 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 are, not, um, they are not to be given their own fair share of the quota. Have you read Cry of the Beloved Country? Yes, I have. How? It's a one-sided view. One-sided view, and it was written by an European. How could Europeans be having one-sided view about their own They're king and king? They're radicals in every nation. Radicals? Uh, you are radicals in South Africa, then. Oh, no, we're not. Look. Uh, Mespin was just talking about, and all of you, about the importance of news about South Africa in the Gold Coast, in Nigeria, and in Ethiopia. I'm wondering whether news about racial problems in the United States also takes up a good veal, a deal of space in your countries. Does it in the Gold Coast? Yes, very, because after all, the Negroes come from the Gold Coast, and we feel very badly about what the Americans are doing about, to our Negroes. Um, I know that one of my ancestors probably came here too, and from what I hear in the Gold Coast, the Americans don't give the Negroes a fair chance of activities here. For instance, they don't give the Negroes the same education as they give their white Americans. And also, for, uh, for instance, a Negro wouldn't be permitted to go to...